My name is John Reinhardt, and my startup is an idea which will revolutionize the way that businesses manage their fleets. I was working as a mechanic at a typical independent repair shop when the idea for this business came to be. I had just finished fixing what felt like my 10,000th light duty truck, and I had gotten so used to seeing these vehicles that I could diagnose and repair them in half the time of the other vehicles. Despite my quick repair time, the shop, in keeping with common practice, still charged a flat rate estimate. Why? To offset the time it takes to repair the vehicles which our techs are less familiar with. Light duty trucks and vans make up 75% of our business, but we had to buy and maintain specialty equipment for every other vehicle on the market. The result was high repair costs for everyone. And when I say high, I'm into the tune of 170 bucks an hour. Plus, shops mark up the price of parts up to three times just to stack on profit. In addition to the cost, the repair time for vehicles can span to months as parts can either be backordered or more profitable repairs cut less profitable ones in line. As it stands, businesses that rely on fleet vehicles only have two alternatives to these costly types of repair shops, either selling vehicles when the warranty expires or servicing fleet vehicles in-house. Now, service vehicles are often highly specialized and outfitted with custom beds, storage racks, passenger amenities, and engine management systems. With modern vehicles capable of lasting over 300,000 miles with good maintenance, it wouldn't make much sense to trade them in at a steep loss and have to re-outfit the new model after the warranty period of 60,000 miles. This is, however, how many businesses choose to do business, even at an annual loss of tens of thousands of dollars. The other option is servicing the fleet in-house. The business has to have an appropriate space to do the work, plus they have to outfit it with lifts, tire machines, alignment racks, hydraulic presses, media blasters, air compressors, welders, good mechanics, and state-of-the-art software, which costs hundreds of thousands of dollars up front and tens of thousands of dollars annually. Without all of this equipment, the business will still have to seek outside labor. Servicing vehicles in-house has been the solution for many fleets, and it's not a bad option for billion-dollar businesses like Micron and USPS, and actually, at that scale, it's the only option that makes sense with as many other businesses as possible. In doing this, they can mimic the scale of a company like Micron or USPS. This is where the fleet co-op comes in. With my expertise, my company can manage the repair needs for many small local fleets comprised of similar vehicles at the low rate of 50% over cost. In addition to the low labor costs, parts are not marked up and they're always in stock because we always know which parts we will need. The co-op has an annual net profit cap of $250,000 which is reinvested into the business to ensure low operating costs and state-of-the-art equipment. After that profit cap is satisfied, all of the profits are redistributed to the co-op member companies as a dividend. In addition, the co-op also provides loaner vehicles tailored to the needs of the businesses that we contract with so that vehicle downtime will interfere with your customers' needs. We also provide a fair cost brokerage service for purchasing and selling equipment. Join the fleet co-op revolution, ditch the hassle, and save big. Thanks.